Hello everybody, I am here with a member of Team Ambition, Ryu Kendrick. Yeah, it's Ryu Kendrick, what's going on? What do you do, AJ? What do you listen to on those headphones? I listen to anything like rap, rock, some R&B, some slow jam, some jazz. It just depends on what mood I'm in, pretty much. Why did you start wrestling? I started wrestling uh, because there was a time where I was like in college and I, yeah, I was at EIU in college and I was thinking to myself, man, I wanted to be a pro wrestler, just pro wrestling, pro wrestling, pro wrestling. That's what I wanted to do after I graduated. So I just finished graduation with college and then I started training under Dynamo where the first thing I was with Mike Outlaw. So saw him and then the rest is history. Mike Outlaw is one of the best, so learning from him means you're learning from one of the best in the St. Louis area. Yes, yes I am, most definitely. What advice would you give a new wrestler? Advice that I would give to a new wrestler is don't stop training. Like, mostly every wrestler said this to me when I asked for advice, is just don't stop training, just stick to it, and be sure about what you want to do. This is what you want to do, because there's a lot of... There is a lot of, uh, what does it say? People who give up. Yeah, there are a lot of people that will give up, but most definitely that. And also, there's a lot of challenges as well, and overcoming every obstacles. What is something about you that would surprise people? Uh, what would surprise me? Hmm. As people know, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan. I'm more, like, into, like, that type of culture, like... Nostalgic culture like Power Rangers, Street Fighter, like the 90s, you know, just, just a fan of all, overall, like Tekken. Like, I was just a big video game nerd back then. So, and also being my size, I was bullied and when I was little, when I was a kid. So, it wasn't fun, but got through it. Yeah, um, with all of the video game, it makes sense, kind of, because it was what you grew up doing, so you obviously still love it to this day. I do, most definitely. It's like a... <laughs> before wrestling, video, video games was definitely a second nature. Who did you wrestle in your first match? Mike Outlaw. I wrestled Mike Outlaw in my first match. It was uh, strictly insane. Going on... It was about two and a half years ago. It was like December of 2019. Uh, drove up there. The funny part about it is, is that when we were driving up there, I rear-ended somebody. It wasn't intentionally, it was a mistake. But going up there, me and him had a fun match, and he definitely uh, helped me out during that match. If you could choose to have three wishes granted, what would you wish for? Three wishes? That's a, that's a good question. Uh, I would wish I had some customized beats. <laughs> Customized beats, that would be one. Um, if I would wish, I would definitely wish to... I wish I would make a whole lot of money. If I couldn't wish for money, I would say I would wish uh, for world peace. And my third wish... Hmm, my third wish, it would be... Just to be successful in whatever I want to do. My three wishes I've said over and over, so I'm going to come up with another three wishes. Okay. Um, so my first wish is to have Mochi be nice. He always is mean, so have my cat Mochi be nice. Number two, uh, money for my family. A whole lot of money for my family. <laughs> and step three is to try and give a meal and a home to everybody who needs it. Okay, that's what's up. I can dig that. I can dig it. First two are pretty selfish, but the last one... Mm, yeah, I, I mean, if that's how you want to put it. <laughs> Shoot. Hey, I feel you on that one, AJ. I feel you. If you could wrestle anybody, who would you choose? If I could wrestle anybody, there's a long list of people I want to wrestle. I actually have a wish list, but on my wish, I'm going to pick somebody off that list. I would say Camaro Jackson. Uh, because... He was there, like, my first few months training. He was there every step of the way. He never left my side, and I want to test myself against him. Camaro Jackson is a really tough competitor, though. He is. I mean, you see his quads. He's, he's the quad father for sure, but definitely I feel like I can take him. 
What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni and bacon and, and onions. What is your opinion about pineapple on pizza? Pineapple on pizza? Uh, it really just depends on what else you put on it. I can't eat pineapple straight with pizza. If I was going to eat pineapple, where it had to be pepper. There was a time uh, when I was at a, I was at a pizza place. It was at, it was recently, it was with the Team Ambition members. Uh, Davey, he ordered pepperoni and pineapple, and it wasn't really that bad. It, it's just, me personally, I would have to add, like, pepperoni with it, because I'm a big pepperoni guy with pizza. I love it. Pepperoni and pineapple is my go-to. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I was, <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little flabbergasted, I ain't gonna lie, but, uh, Pepperoni definitely is my big one, but if I was to say my ultimate pizza, pepperoni, bacon, and olives. If I was going to do a three-topping one, you know. If you weren't in the pro wrestling business, what else do you think you would do? Uh, I would definitely be in the IT because I'm a major in management information systems. That's more like in the business world and with computers. So I see myself being in IT or cybersecurity, something like that. And like you were saying, you are a video game nerd, as you said yourself. Yeah, I was, but I can see myself. I did take a class in programming video games, so it could be... I could do that, too, as well. It just depends on where I want to go. But mainly, I would, I would be working with my major. Who has had the biggest influence on your career? Biggest influence? Like, with tra with like training-wise or, like, overall? Overall. Uh, I would say AJ Styles is like one of my idols. The Rock. I also would say I would say John Cena, and I'm starting to watch Kota Ibushi. And I'm starting to watch how he would, how he does uh, his match, how I watch his matches, and how he perfects his craft as well. Those are all people that are also the best, and I feel like. If you took their move set and perfected it, you could also become one of the best in the world. Yeah, it could happen. It's just like, just got to outwork and just got to put in the work. That's all you got to do. Who is Ryu Kendrick and why should my viewers get to know you? All right, Ryu Kendrick, as you say, fearless beats around my head won't stop until I'm dead. So the thing about it is, I ain't going to give up. I'm down to fight anybody, and I'm just a really good wrestler. That's all I can say. That's the end. Thanks for the interview. All right. Thank you. It's been an honor, most definitely. Thank you.